Here's a legendary Pulitzer Prize-winning photo called Explosion of Joy. It depicts Lieutenant Colonel Robert Styrum of the U.S. Air Force, who returned from many years of Vietnamese captivity. His children are running towards him, as well as his happy, smiling wife, who has been waiting for him from captivity all these years. But in fact, the story of this photo is a little different. Yes, Robert Sturm was indeed captured by the Vietnamese. On October 27, 67, his plane was shot down over Kana, and the pilot was released only in March 73. Yes, his children really run to him, especially his daughter, 15-year-old Steer Maloria, who because of her reaction got the nickname Jumper. But the problem was her wife. The fact is that on the very first day of his release, and three days before meeting with his family, Robert received a letter from his wife informing him that their marriage had come to an end because she had changed, they would not be able to be together, and life was too short. These are literally her words. I can't even imagine what emotions he was experiencing that day, but I think it was a strong punch in the gut. Moreover, Steer later found out that while he was serving time in captivity, Loretta met with more than five men, and three of them offered her a hand and heart. She started cheating a year after Sturm was captured. But if you think they just got divorced peacefully, then you're wrong. After returning from captivity, a trial began, during which the pilot tried to obtain custody of the children. Moreover, while Robert was rotting in a Vietnamese prison, his wife received compensation in the amount of dollar 136,000 and during the trial she demanded 50% of all his property, including half of the amount of future compensation paid by the U.S. government. Well, if you think that's it, then no. The court practically did not take into account the fact of her betrayal. As a result, the ex-wife received custody of two children, a house for $24,000, a car. Also, Sturm had to pay alimony and transfer 40% of any pension he would receive. Meanwhile, the ex-wife quickly married the new chosen one. And what happened to more than $100,000, you ask? Did the wife return them to her husband? No, of course. She paid only $1,500 as compensation for traveling with other men. Well, do not forget about the cherry on the cake in the form of close attention of the press to the family. If you think that this is some kind of unique and exceptional situation, then this is far from the case. By 1974, 75 of the 566 Americans who returned from captivity had divorced, and this is not counting those families who were in the process of divorce at that time. Of course, not everyone had it like that. For example, the pilot of the Phantom and the future Admiral William Lawrence peacefully separated from his wife. He said that she, too, became a hostage of the situation and generally understands it. By the way, Lawrence also spent more than five years in Vietnamese captivity and left memoirs in which he told how he managed to keep a sober mind and even improve his mental abilities.